Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. Today's video, well, I'm back on the 2004 Honda Civic. If you remember, I did a series on this car where I did collision repair. This uh, vehicle was hit in the front. It had a damaged bumper cover, core support, hood, headlights, right front fender, radiator, and I did videos on how I repaired all that and even repainted it and put it back together. Since that time, the car has been kind of sitting. And I found out that the transmission was bad, so I had a friend repair the transmission for me, and now it's running and driving again, which is a good thing. The goal all along was to sell this car. Well, since getting it back from my friend, I discovered there is a problem with the brake or the cable that operates the uh, gas door and the trunk lid, and that is this cable right here. So this is a brand new cable that I picked up off of Amazon. And I'm going to go through the process of removing everything you need to remove to get that cable out and then put everything back together. This isn't that difficult. You may even be able to go to maybe a U pull yard or something like that to get a new cable, but I just went with a new one so I wouldn't have any problems and not have to deal with doing it twice. Let's just put it that way. So let me show you what I'm talking about and we'll move on from there. So I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about, but I'm just going to show you. This is the lever. So you've got a push function for the gas door and a pull for the trunk lid. Well, it doesn't pull. It does push down, but it doesn't do anything. This is a lock for the system. It is unlocked, uh, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. And this cable runs behind this trim panel, behind the seatbelt, behind this trim panel and through an opening below this piece which actually isn't part of the seat it looks like it is but it isn't runs behind that and then it runs behind these trim or filler panels inside of here and then it runs up the hinge for the deck lid tucks in behind this opening right here there's some foam on it that helps it stop uh, making noise and then it connects here to the latch now I've already pulled all of this, I had most of this pulled out, let's say, but I decided to show the video. That's why these clips are already out. Now the thing is, I pulled these out, I didn't want to push them back in just to make the video because you run the risk of permanently damaging these. There's really no easy way to get these out. I did use a puller, got behind it with a, a forked prong, let's say, and was able to pull these out and the tabs are still there, so I don't want to run the risk of ruining those. So let me show you what we need to do to get this out. The cable itself will unhook out of the latch fairly easily. Uh, you can probably get a screwdriver, hook on that, and I'll show you that. And then inside there's a, like a ball on the end of the cable, and it unhooks easily from there. It'll snake out of the opening on the trunk, pull out, and then these panels, there's some plastic clips like this right here. So I've already unscrewed this clip. You can just kind of take a screwdriver and twist it out set that aside somewhere we won't lose it there's maybe another one yeah there was another one up here so this will just fold out of the way and now you expose the cable where it runs beside let's say the inner wheelhouse and goes up to the uh, gas door now this is really simple I can't really get my camera in there, but if I just take this and I just turn it counterclockwise, it comes right out. It just has a couple of tabs on it. All you have to do is get it in that opening, turn it, and you're done. The rest of the cable is going to have little clips on it that hold it in place. I've already taken most of those loose, and then you can see it just follows up the hinge. So let's go up front and show you what has to happen up there. Okay, up front here, you need to get this panel off. And usually there's just a pretty simple, you can get a tool behind this panel. I have this little fork tool, body tool. Break that loose, I'll show you. Inside there is a clip right there, and there's another one at the top. So you get that out of the way, and that exposes the second panel that is this cover panel right here. But we're not going to pull that out just yet. But I will show you that you're going to need to pop off this little cover right here 
and that's pretty simple. Just get a screwdriver, get behind it, and then there is a screw right here that has to come out, and that screw holds the cover assembly down to the um, main piece in here. Um, this, this little key lock system, just pries up. It only fits in there one way. It may take a little twisting around to get it out. There it goes. So you can see it's got this little cam system. So I'll pull that out of the way, and then what I want to do is move the seat forward. Now at this point, what I want to do is remove the seat belt. So this little cover comes off right here. Slide that up. This should be a, I believe, a 14 millimeter uh, socket. And it is. So I'm going to remove the bolt that holds the seatbelt. You can put that up into the seat headrest if you want so it's out of the way. And now this exposes these panels. The problem is trying to put these back in with that seatbelt in the way. It's a real fight. Let's just put it that way. So this piece has to come out, this cover piece, and this isn't, there's not much holding it. You just have to get it to kind of agree with you. Let's see if I can show you this. I know I'm trying to do this with one hand. Um, but anyway, <laughs> there it goes. So it pops up, and in the front, you unhook it from the pinch weld and just lift up on it. So you're not going to take that all the way out. You can if you want to, but primarily you just want to have access to these other two panels. I'll move it out of the way completely so that it makes it easier to film this. Now that gives you access to being able to remove these two panels because they overlap each other down here. Okay, so back up to the front. You can take this little fork clip puller and just go underneath these, these uh, this edge of this panel, pops those clips loose. There's probably some on the inside right here. Might be a little tricky to line those up later on. So this comes out. And there are posts inside of that. There's one broken right there. And there's another one right here. So if you look at it in the car, they kind of come back into the, what would be like the inner rocker panel. So we're going to set that aside, and that exposes the mechanism. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. You can maybe see, if I pull back this carpet, there's the cable running underneath this kind of cross member deal. And there it is down there, and it goes behind that seatbelt, so you can see it now. Now at this point, you need to have access to, well, you need to be able to remove this trim piece. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the seat. Not really that difficult. Just pull up on it, and it pops loose on these little clips on either side. Kind of rotate it up, and it pulls right out. If you can see it very well, but there's these little loops right here. That's what pushes back into the holes in the floor. Everything else just slides underneath the main seat. All right, now I said this piece isn't part of the seat, and it's really not. This seat is one of the fold-down seats, so it has a separation seam right here. Down below here, there is a 10, I don't know if you can see it, 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to get on that. Take that out. Set that aside. And now this piece will come loose. Now, there is a clip that this glues to right here. Um, just be warned, it's probably not going to clip back together. A lot of times this stuff just breaks from age. So it'll pop back in and hook on there, 
but that's that's fine. Now you need to remove this panel because the cable goes underneath it. So I'm going to use this tool. I had again this little body shop tool up on the clips, and really this piece shouldn't be much in the way of anything holding it together. There's a little hook up here at the top and it kind of slides in. So I don't know if I can show you that very well, but there's a little hook that slips into the uh, other piece of trim plastic. At this point, this exposes the whole cable. Now one nice thing is there's a clip down here. It's just a, it's like an open clip. It doesn't need to be pulled. The cable just slides out of it. You can see there's a little piece of white tape right there. That usually indica indicates where it's supposed to clip onto. So now the cable's loose, at least in the back. I'm going to go up front and show you what you need to do next. Move the seat back. And down here, inside this opening, you go through this right here through the side, is a 10 millimeter. So you're going to take that, you can either take it off or just take it loose. I'm going to take it loose. You leave it in there. Now what you can do is slide this back and that comes off of that bolt. You can see there's an opening there. Then you're going to pop this out of this uh, channel right here. Oh, there you can see the cable. How messed up it is. Um, you're going to pop this out of this U-shaped channel and then get the cable end out of the little handle. Okay, so there it is. Just pop that out, pull that out of the end. Now the cable is loose and can be pulled all the way back out of the main body. Okay, so make sure the cable is able to go through that first opening. Come back here. Gonna pull on it, and of course it'll just slide back into the trunk. So there's the there's the cable. Pull it back through, so it comes up again into the trunk. So let me show you how to get it off of the latch. Okay, so again I'm gonna get behind this. Just push down on it. And then, as I said, there's a little, kind of hard to show you, you can get the camera in there, but this, this uh, just has a little ball on the end of it. I know I blocked the camera with my head if I stick it in there. Oh, that's all I had to do was move that light. But basically, it has this little ball on the end of it, and it just slips up into that opening. You almost can't mess it up. Once you, once you see how it works, uh, it's pretty easy to get in and out. And now it's just a matter of getting it out of the trunk lid itself. So there's that. Basically, that's it. That's how you get the cable out. Now, I'll point out that the new cable does not appear to have these clips on it. So you're going to have to transfer those. And it may be easy to do laying this out on the floor. And you can see where those clips were on this old cable, and then just move them over to your new cable. It's always best to do a comparison between the old and the new before you even try to install it. That all looks good. Now I want to show you this. This junction point does have the clip that we need, it's already on there, but these other ones, as I said, they're not. So these little clips actually just open up. There's really uh, nothing difficult about them. You just open them, they just slide right off, and then slip those on in the same places. And you can slide them back and forth if you need to. This just gives you a quick reference as to where they were. Okay, let's put it back together.
Okay, so maybe not the most exciting video, but hopefully I shared some information with you that could help you do the same job to your car. Now this should all apply basically to any Honda, obviously, but anything that has a push-pull cable on it, Toyota, Nissan, Mazda, any of those cars, should be a very similar function. So hopefully you found some information that can help you out if you're needing to do one of these jobs. But that'll be the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, I ask that you do. By all means, leave a thumbs up and a comment and let me know what you think about this video. And I also want to thank my patrons who support me in making these videos. I appreciate them very much. If you're interested in becoming a patron, there are links in the description below. Until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya.